Linux is by far the most used operating system in the cloud and DevOps space. So in this video, we look at how Linux is actually used in DevOps with real world examples. Although Linux is important, there are so many things and it can be difficult for beginners. So in this video, we will also touch upon what things or topic you should know about Linux in DevOps and how to learn them. This is going to be super insightful video for anyone learning Linux or getting started with DevOps. So make sure to watch it till the end. Like this video and subscribe to CloudJam for more such videos. Let's start. Do you know most of the computers on the internet use Linux to run their applications? This video that you're watching on YouTube is hosted on Linux machine. But not just YouTube, Facebook, LinkedIn, Twitter, Reddit, almost entire internet uses Linux to run their application. But what makes Linux so much important? Let's look at different features of why is Linux used in DevOps. The primary reason why Linux is used a lot is because Linux is open source, which makes it very cost effective for organizations. So Linux is open source and it is free to use and modified. Also, there is no licensing fees, which significantly reduces cost compared to other proprietary operating systems like Windows. Another reason why Linux is used a lot is because of its stability and performance. Linux is very stable and it can run for long periods without requiring any reboot, making it perfect for servers and applications that needs to be available all the time. Linux is also very secure. It provides robust security features like user permissions, app armor, SD Linux that helps protect our unauthorized access and vulnerabilities, which makes Linux the best solution for DevOps tasks. Another very important reason why Linux is used a lot in DevOps is because of its powerful terminal. Linux has a terminal or a command line interface where you can run commands to execute different DevOps tasks like creating users, installing packages, troubleshooting issues, and a lot more. These commands can also be put together to create script, also known as a bash script, which can be used for automation. And automation through scripts using Linux commands is something that DevOps engineers have to do almost every day. So now that you know different features of why Linux is used in DevOps, let's look at different examples to understand how is Linux actually used in DevOps. Try to understand this first. A DevOps engineer is someone who is responsible to create applications right from the server layer where you set up a server, install packages, dependencies, everything necessary to host the application to the application layer where the application is ready to be used by end user. And in this process, Linux is used almost everywhere. Let's see how is Linux used. Hosting. Linux is the best choice for hosting web applications, databases, and other programs required to run your application. This can be done by running commands to install and configure them on Linux machines. If you want to know how to do that, you can check out this video where I've showed how to install web server to set up your website. But nowadays, modern applications are deployed as containers using tools like Docker and Kubernetes that run natively on Linux, making it the go-to operating system. Next use case of Linux in DevOps is automation and scripting. Linux has its own scripting language, which is Bash, but also supports Python and Perl, which is used to automate all the repetitive tasks like packing up databases, running a script or anything. Along with this, other configuration management tools like Ansible, Steph, or Puppet are designed to be run natively on Linux. Linux is also used in CI/CD. Tools like GitLab, Jenkins, CircleCI are often deployed on Linux machines. These tools are used to automate the process of testing, building, and deployment of applications. Linux command line utilities are also used in pipeline scripts to add the various tasks like code compilation, testing, deployment, which makes the editing process more efficient and reliable. Linux also offers powerful networking tools like IP tables, Netfilter, and App Armor, which can be used to configure and secure network connections. Apart from this, Git a very popular version control system, which is widely used, is also built on Linux. In fact, it is created by the same person who created Linux. So now you understand, Linux is used almost everywhere in DevOps, and all the DevOps tools are also built upon Linux. So this is why you should be learning Linux. Now let's look at what Linux topics should you be learning as a DevOps engineer. If you are someone who is learning DevOps or trying to become a DevOps engineer, you should start with Linux. 
in Linux, you should start with fundamentals, knowing the different distributions or flavors Linux have like Debian, Fedora, Ubuntu, etc. Then learn how to install or set up Linux servers on the cloud, even on local machine using virtualization tools like VirtualBox or VMware, etc. Learn the different important commands on how to create a file, how to manage user, how to install packages, how to check processes and all that. Also, understand the Linux file structure or the directory structure to understand where are the different files going to be stored inside Linux machine. Once you get that then go to the advanced parts where you need to know how to use all these commands to create a script or know how to do shell scripting. Moving on you also need to know different networking commands to check or configure networks whenever there is an issue. Apart from this you also need to know how to create and manage users, permissions and rules. I have this document which has a list of all the next topics you should know as a DevOps engineer. If you want me to share this with you, let me know in the comment section. Now that you have understood what topics you should be doing as a DevOps engineer, if you ask me advice on how to learn or master Linux faster, I would suggest you to change your primary operating system to Linux. If you have Windows, remove Windows and install Linux on it. This is the best way to learn Linux faster. This is something I tried myself and I haven't changed my operating system from Linux to Windows now. I'm using Ubuntu 22. You can either use Ubuntu, Fedora, Arch Linux, any flavor that you want. But usually in DevOps, we use mostly Ubuntu, Fedora and CentOS. So yeah, that is all. I hope now you have an understanding of how Linux is used in DevOps. What is the role of Linux in DevOps? What topics should you know as a DevOps engineer? If you have any questions, any doubt, please feel free to let me know in the comment section. I hope this video was informative. Thank you and have a good day.